All right, everyone say, hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Welcome to Crappy Aquariums. We're not going to say the actual name of the subreddit that we're looking at because I'll get demonetized. And frankly, I can't afford that. I'm living off of rice at the moment. Let's look at some crappy aquariums. Woo! Hi, YouTube. This is the wrong scene. Um, there we go. Axolotls in the fridge. <laughs> what are the axolotls doing in the fridge? Wait, they have a drawer in their fridge? Wait, okay. Surely the fridge is turned off. And they just have a drawer in there that's like filled with water and then they pull okay i'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and say that the fridge is off is it a good environment no but let's just hope that the fridge is turned off and they are using a drawer which i have to imagine is like three to four gallons maybe and they're keeping the axolotls in that so this reminds me of a story my friend just started working at a new company and his boss asked him where does you get worms? Like, where would someone get worms? And he thought, oh, she know, you know, she wants to go fishing. So he asked me, and I was like, oh yeah, you can get worms at pretty much any bait shop. So he tells her, and the next day she shows up to work with a can of the regular bait worms, and then a can of like the glow worms, which I didn't even know was a thing. You know how they make like neon tetras by injecting them with glow? They inject worms with glow too, apparently. So these are like neon worms and they're in the dirt. And she brings them to work and he's very confused because she thought she he thought she just wanted to go fishing with them. And she starts asking him questions. She's like, what time of day do worms like to be out? Where's a good place to put worms? And he became increasingly suspicious that she bought the worms from the bait shop to then release the worms. And uh, that was confirmed. She did want to just release the bucket of worms. She also kept them in the fridge at work for multiple days. Crazy story. I'm bad at telling the story, but when Elias told it to me, it made me laugh so hard. The plot twist of him being like, oh yeah, no, yeah, you can get worms at a local bait shop, thinking she just wanted to go fishing and then Turns out she did not just want to go fishing. SMH my head. Oh, it, they, yeah. Oh, wait, no. Glow worm. No, these are real. That's not it. Um, where am I? There we are. Anyways, axolotls in the fridge. Her good deed of the day. Finished cycling my new planted aquarium, looking for stocking suggestions, was thinking a baby arowana and a medium-sized school of guppies. Yeah, that looks about right. Little puddle that fills up after the rain. Amazon sells live betta fish and the reviews are just. The review says, I really don't like tiny fish. Also, I hate the color. My son Jackson loves his new fish. We named it Shelby. Yay. It's in a bowl. Wow. I was worried about it arriving alive, but it didn't. It's still going strong after a week. Wow. That looks awful. Is it the only opening in this little... Is that the only oh that's crazy. Oh jeez. I will buy. <laughs> Why doesn't this this doesn't read like a nice review. It reads like a threat. I will buy again. Dude, how are there so many? I mean, eh, whatever. It's Amazon. It's the access to the worst people on the internet. The only time that we typically get, you know, things on this subreddit, not the banana holder. Yeah, that's crazy. Um the only time that we typically get these things on subreddits is like when people post them to social media and most people are like somewhat self-aware enough not to post their bad aquariums to social media so we don't get like a ton of the really bad ones this is like what happens when you have access to that when you get the people on amazon because the people on twitter and instagram are one thing if we were going through facebook to look for bad fish tanks my god this genuinely made me angry don't rush. After setting a new tank up, wait one day before introducing your fish. This ensures settled, consistent conditions. Wow, one whole day? But 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 how am I supposed to wait a whole day? I want to put my goldfish in my one-gallon bowl right now. That's crazy. This is um, why you don't trust pet stores in general. Because they'll have someone on staff who's called, like, the aquatic expert. And that's not to say that some of the aquatic experts aren't, like, competent people. But on the average, they're not worth speaking to. It's that one thing from uh, Parks and Rec where Ron goes to the hardwood, the lumber store or whatever. And the guy's like, hey, can I help you with anything? And he's like, I know more than you. And walks past him. If you go to an aquarium store, be that person. 
do enough research that you can just in your head i know more than you and walk past the employee do i need to explain that's lovely i love me some live bears using an aquarium themed mini humidifier as a real aquarium oh yeah humidifiers crazy what happens if you turn it on yeah fish water in the air i don't know much about aquariums but this doesn't seem safe I don't think you need to know much about aquariums. This is more of a physics issue. This is more of like 9.98 meters per second squared kind of issue than a uh, fish issue. But Critter Keeper, bro, I've seen these at the... Everyone's seen... Oh my god, wait, that's so much smaller than I'm used to. It's the size of a root beer can? Wait, I was like, oh yeah, no, I've seen that before. Oh my god. <laughs> that's crazy. They just keep getting smaller. I hate when my people say I'm into aquaponics. They think I mean this. <laughs> Dude, pain. Oh, yeah. I'm into aquaponics. I've got a uh, some grass growing out of a, a, a rainbow gravel SpongeBob pineapple tank with probably some awful fish in it. Who made this and thought, yeah, it's good enough? I like to imagine that the person saw like a post online and it was like a really well done aquascaping and they're like, wow, I really, you know what? I'm going to get into aquaponics. And then they set up this whole thing and then like sat back on the couch and looked at it and went, huh, <laughs> where did I go wrong? Everyone's opinion on this. Not sure if I love it or hate it. Water in the styrofoam cups. I mean, it's for baby fish, right? They're not keeping adults in there. It's got some plants and some baby fish. Looks fine to me. The landlord fears the apartment fish farmer. What is with people putting fish in their fridge and axolotls in their fridge? Y'all gotta stop. You have a problem. Oh god, dude, not with the... <laughs> uh, I just realized everything's in Russian. Oh, and it's a bunch of yellow perch, isn't it? European perch. But hopefully they're being kept to eat. I mean, even then it's not great, but my god. Yeah, two fridge tanks in a single video is crazy. I have nothing to say. Oh, yeah. Girls, do you not want to re recycle your plastic Starbucks cup? Well, let me tell you about a DIY thing that you can do. Put a fucking plant and a fish in there. There is a fish, right? Yeah. Looks like there might even be two fish. That's crazy. Found this horror getting my new truck title transferred. It really is. It's like a, it's like a car crash. You just got you just got to stare at it and be like, wow. Every decision in this tank is shockingly bad to me. Ah, uh, hell nah. No, it's not big enough. Have you seen the betta fish in their little containers? I think that this tank is perfect size for this fish. Here, side view. <laughs> it's a goldfish in like a cooking bowl, bro. That's crazy. This person is referencing abusive aquariums to justify abusive aquariums. That's crazy. It's like killing someone and being like, uh, wait, but have you seen that like those guys that killed like three people? I mean, this should be perfect size. <laughs> yeah, I love the Lego brick aquariums. These are a rarity because it was such an awful idea that it has been scrubbed from the world. But occasionally you still see a few. What does this mean? This is us. Oh, my God. Is this at like a wedding? No, this isn't. This is a house decoration. This just, I refuse to believe this is at a wedding. Great idea, awful execution. Well, they just would have had to been so big. And also, I just don't think it's a good idea. I just don't think Legos are very aesthetically... I don't know. Prison seller fish tank. You be the judge. There's no difference at this point. $50 for all the things you need to torture. Not one, not two, but three bettas. Wow. At this thrift store from 1997. Dude, I've seen those. I like to go thrifting a lot. And I see these all the time, the like tiny absurd tanks. I should take some pictures of them when I see them at thrift stores to show you guys in these videos. <laughs> I call it the food chain. Bro, this is modern art. Goldfish, cockatiel, cat. That's a, This is art. I mean, the goldfish in the bowl is terrible, but look at this. That's pretty, that's pretty good. The cat looking at the bird, looking at the fish. And then the fish is looking at you. What does this imply about us? Are we the bottom of the food chain? <laughs> they called this a good Mother's Day gift. I mean, yeah, mom would probably like it, not not notice the difference. Bookstore has a really neat saltwater tank, but I was blindsided by these two. Oh. Ah. 
Ah, what the hell? <laughs> you were so close. You had you had us all on your side. Oh my god. <laughs> At a sushi restaurant? Bro, that is so unappetizing. Oh, it's so green. Who wants to sit at their sushi table and look at the Mountain Dew tank? Oh, it's just not that hard to clean your tank, man. Neon green algae, the like Nickelodeon slime algae is difficult to make happen. Like, I barely do anything with my tank, to be clear. I am a bad fish owner. I have fish in re correct conditions, but I barely do anything with my tank. And look, it's crystal clear. I do water changes rarely and, and not a lot of work. Like, it is not that hard to not have a Mountain Dew tank. Genuinely, I believe that. It is not that hard to not have a Mountain Dew tank. It's actually kind of difficult to do that. That's crazy. You need lights on 24 seven. Even then, my tank is in the sunlight. My tank is right next to two giant windows and it has the lights on 12 hours a day. And the cord management, oh, it's so ugly. Why'd you mention that? I wasn't looking at that. Oh, God. Why don't the restaurants ever fill the water up to the top? Oh, they probably do. Once every few months. And then they let it slowly evaporate until it gets to the point where they're like, all right, we have to refill this. All right, that's enough crappy aquariums for the day. Woo!